You guys, I am so excited because today we're gonna to be playing Disney Dreamlight Valley's first ever expansion pass. Not only that, early access is coming to an end. So we are gonna be playing version 1.0 of the game. Disney Dreamlight Valley has officially landed. Before we get into it, thank you so much to Disney Dreamlight Valley for sponsoring today's video. And if you hear any weird sounds or snoring, it's just my dog Bowser in the background. For anyone who has never seen Disney Dreamlight Valley, in a nutshell, it's basically a simulation adventure game where you get to meet a cast of Disney and Pixar characters we all know and love. We've got to find out their memories, solve puzzles, and why the forgetting happened. And you do all of this whilst building your dream village and making friends with all the characters as well. So it's a really fun game. It's come a really long way since it started. There's been a lot of updates to the game. They keep on coming. And with the new expansion having just come out, now's a perfect time to revisit or check out Disney Dreamlight Valley. You can use my special link in the description down below. So that's enough of me talking. Let's jump into this because I cannot wait. In the expansion, there's going to be three new biomes to discover. Also four new characters. So I wonder who we are going to meet first. Oh my. Ah, looks like Jafar has landed. Well, kind of. Aha, it worked. At last it worked. After bzz, an eternity. Bzz, deligracy? Bzz, do you hear me? Ah, at last, our connection seems to be stable. Greetings, I am Jafar, Royal Vizier of Dreamlight Valley. Before the forgetting, I was your closest, most trusted advisor. Um, look, I don't trust you one bit. Oh, but you really have no choice. The stakes are far too high. I reach out to you now with a grave warning. All of time and space is in peril. That does sound pretty bad. Uh, not great. Listen closely to my tale and then I will tell you how to set the world right. Ooh, I wonder if this is the new biome. During the forgetting, I set out on a journey and discovered a land beyond the waters of Dreamlight Valley. Mm. A land called Eternity Isle. Oh, look at the monkeys. A place filmed with ancient relics that empower their wielder to control time. <gasps> but then everything went wrong. Eternity Isle became lost in time and I became trapped to that. But now at last, I've found a way to communicate with you. If we have any hope of saving Dreamlight Valley, you must venture to Eternity Isle and free me. Okay, how did you discover Eternity Isle? It was fate, or perhaps a fortuitous accident. During the forgetting, I began to assume my most deserved role as Sultan of Dreamlight Valley. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All I wanted was to restore order, of course. <sighs> well, I guess somebody needed to take charge around here. Precisely. If only Aladdin and Genie had seen it that way. They refused to trust me, even though I was clearly the rightful ruler. They cast me out exiled me. But as luck would have it, I found myself cast away on Eternity Isle, an island full of ancient treasures and powerful relics. Hmm, these ancient relics that control time. Tell me more. It seems Eternity Isle was once home to an ancient civilization. They studied the secrets of time and space and filled the island with treasures and wonders. You will no doubt find some of them on your journeys across the isle. Being able to control time and space. Ooh. I would be unstoppable. Ah, uh, I knew you were not some fool who would waste a genie's wish on something frivolous. Good, only absolute power will do. All right, well, I know I'm ready. I hope you're ready. So how do we get to Eternity Isle? I will send a means of transportation to you. Where will I find this means of transportation? Visit the wizard Merlin, he must remember by now. The old fool always was sharper than he seemed. Take the ancient vessel and travel to Eternity Isle. Once you reach the island, look for another mysterious device just like this one. They will allow us to communicate. All right, so we gotta look for a platform like this. I mean, I feel like this occasion calls for a different outfit, so first thing first, priorities. Let me put on my favorite yellow top. We have absolutely got to change this hair. I was doing a little work for Ursula, okay? Oh, what the heck? I wanna wear my little shoesies. So let's do that. Okay, hello, my little friends. Now, where is Merlin? Merlin, oh, he's down at the beach. Okay, Merlin. I'm Merlin, so wee! 
I loved when they added this to the game. This is, that is one update that was really good. Oh. Hey Merlin, Deligracy, you're right on schedule. I've just remembered something of the utmost importance. There is a hidden place in Dreamlight Valley from which you can travel to the farthest reaches of this world. Whoa. Are you gonna make me guess where it is, Merlin? <laughs> of course not. You could search for a thousand years and never find it. And we haven't got a moment to waste. What we seek is in the dream castle. Meet me there whenever you're ready to begin your journey. Hmm, follow Merlin to the gate in the dream castle. Ooh, this is very exciting. Now then, beyond this gate, you'll discover places that will change everything you know about Dreamlight huh? Valley. Oh, where did I put that key? Merlin, now, really? Did you check your pockets? Aha, <laughs> I've got it. It was thrown into a tiny pocket near my... Near your elbow? I hope it's the right one. Me too. Oh, it is. Eureka, it worked. Well, what are you waiting for? Step through the gate and find out what's on the other side. I wouldn't dare spoil this surprise. Oh, even Merlin's like excited for our surprise as well. Ooh, okay. My goodness me. That is pretty cool. All these archways that might go to different places. Welcome to the Stardust Port, Deligracy. From here, you can explore the farthest reaches of this world. There are countless locations around Dreamlight Valley that you are yet to visit. I must say, I am looking forward to the adventures and discoveries that await out there. To infinity and beyond. Precisely, that's the spirit. I dare say that as you keep discovering more locations beyond Dreamlight Valley, the Stardust Port is sure to fill up with countless ships, flying contraptions, Chariots? The possibilities are endless. Exploration awaits. Okay. Ooh. Oh my gosh, there's a floating boat here. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Some more boxes around here. So I guess those boxes eventually turn into a means of transportation. But this is the only one we can go to right now. So shall we jump in? Oh my goodness. Okay, I stepped towards it and now look where we are. <gasps> look at us on the boat. Oh, that was cool. Look at the monkeys. Well, we've made it. It's beautiful. I can't wait. I wonder if Aladdin will be here. I wonder if Genie will be here. The monkeys are so cute. And we've got to find that platform that Jafar was sitting on before or standing on. Oh, there we go. At last you've arrived. Welcome, Delhi to Eternity Isle. We find yourself at Ancient Landing. Don't let the scenery fool you. There are countless treasures to be found here, but it's fraught with peril. It is so amazing. Yes, it is a marvel, isn't it? However, at the moment, that is irrelevant. Okay, we have no time to lose. Your first task will be to find the ancient gate that leads deeper into the island. It is up those nearby stairs. You have no doubt noticed that the way is blocked by these strange formations jutting out of the ground. They're pretty weird. <laughs> I mean, they are kind of beautiful. I have named them Splinters of Fate. They are wounds in the very fabric of time. Oh, but they should be no match for your dreamlight magic. Simply focus your attention on them and they will mend. Just like how I removed night thorns back in Dreamlight Valley, I got it. There is another one beside the ancient gate. Clear the way and speak to me there. Oh, this is a pretty place. Okay, so we need to get to the ancient gate. Uh, we go up the stairs, but we also need to clear away the splinters of fate um, just by pressing A if you're on a controller. Ooh, what did we just pick up? <gasps> it looks like there's a new a new thing we can go here. What is this? What is that? Oh, I really should have emptied my uh, inventory <laughs> before we left. Oh, well. Yams. Oh, nice. We can grow yams now. What is this? Strawberries. Love strawberries. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I always panic whenever I get this. I feel like I have to collect them all before the timer runs out. And usually I can never find the last one in time. What, there's another one? Oh, oh, come on. I yes, I got it. Oh, that was stressful. Okay. Oh, it looks like we got a new outfit. Oh, some nice sneakers. I mean, you can never have too many sneakers. So apparently there's a new royal tool uh, which will help us find treasure, which I think is what Jafar was telling us about. So hopefully we get that soon. But I mean, this game has come so far since I remember when I first played it, when it first came out. Like there's been so many updates, there's new characters, new realms, even like 
smaller things, like just having bigger chests and being able to put signs on them so you can label all of your collectibles. That was a bit of a game changer. I think we might have got a memory. We got a jigsaw puzzle piece. Hmm. And then we have new biomes, like the Lion King area, the frozen characters and area of the map. So if you haven't played it since the start, a lot has changed, so it's a good time to get back into it again. Oh, and I also really love the fact we can now customize colors of things more, like beds and build items. Well, this sure does look like a gate to me. Hmm. Ooh, also in collections, it's now separated into Dreamlight Valley. I've only got 28%. I've put many hours into this game. How do I only have 28%? And now we have Eternity Isle as well, and we just unlocked one memory. Old Ruler's Lost Diary, Eve! And I discovered this weird hourglass. The sand inside is shimmering. Perhaps the hourglass is the new royal tool we're getting. So here we can look at things to forage. Look at all of this new stuff. Oh my gosh, new flowers, new ingredients, beans. Grapes, they all look delicious. Okay, well here's the hologram station. So we better clear these out of the way and hopefully speak to Jafar here and then see what's behind that gate. Oh, we just picked a new flower. I get excited by the flowers. I like picking flowers in real life. So it's no surprise I like picking them in the game as well. Jaffa, ah, delicacy, there you are, good. As you can see, the ancient gate is closed. There used to be a sphere here that powered the gate, allowing it to open. It looked just like the other blue spheres around the gate. But alas, it has been broken and pieces scattered to the wind. But all thanks to that flying, chirping metal nuisance. The pieces of the ancient sphere must be in the vicinity. Search Ancient's Landing for the pieces. You will find a crafting station here where you can repair it. Then place the Ancient Sphere in the gate to open it. I'll have to check everything out. Looks like other villagers are already starting to come visit. They're quick, these villagers. Okay, find the pieces of the Ancient Sphere. So we wanna look for pieces that I guess look like these, and then eventually we're gonna probably place it on this pedestal. How do I get rid of this floating rock formation? Mickey's here! Aw, hey Mickey! What's this? Oh, I think this is a piece of it. Wait, oh, check it out! There is the hourglass. We just haven't unlocked it yet. Okay, is this one piece? Heck yes, that must be one of the pieces. Ah, oh, it's another Scrooge McDuck's. That's awesome. I found it hiding over here. All right, we've got both pieces. Let's go ahead and make this ancient sphere. Where is it? It'll be under functional. There we go. We've got the left, we've got the right, and now we've got the whole thing. Yay, good job, Deli. Go and open this gate. Wee! Okay, let's interact with this. All right, I'm guessing we just place this right over to here and hopefully now this will open yay we did it Ooh, hello it's a big head right there okay what is deeper in this eternity aisle oh there's a chez remy over here some ruins perhaps some more monkeys oh oh my gosh now that does look familiar. Meet Jafar by the broken bridge in the courtyard. Is there a hologram station over here? Oh, here we go. Jafar, are you in there? Ah, do you see now, Deli? What lies before you was once nothing but barren desert, but with the magic artifacts of Eternity Isle, half of it was transformed into a lush jungle. However, now it is split down the middle by a rift in time that threatens to destroy everything. So, wait, are you saying this is all your fault, Jafar? My fault? Hardly. This island and the relics scattered about it, why, they practically have a mind of their own. Not taking responsibility, Jafar, that's what I'm hearing. The time rift in the middle of the island has left me trapped in the palace at the other end. How am I supposed to get you with this broken bridge blocking the way? You must obtain an ancient relic known as the Royal Hourglass. It is under the protection of that flying metal nuisance. You must find a way to get it from her. Perhaps she will trust you and simply hand the hourglass over. That would be good. You may have to use your pickaxe to clear away the copper rocks blocking the way. Okie dokie. Yes, pickaxe upgrade. Oh, and Deli, when you find that metal pest, do take care. She has a nasty habit of blasting things to shreds. Okay, I'm a little scared now, but we'll be fine. I'm fine. 
Well, these are the rocks that we can get rid of using our pickaxe. So I'm guessing we'll find this flying metal thing wherever these rocks are blocking us, which is across here. Ah, oh, maybe Eve is the, the flying metal thing. Are you the flying metal nuisance? How could Eve be a nuisance? Well, there, directive, directive. I come in peace, all right? Name, I'm Deligracy, and I just really need that hourglass classified. But it's the only way I can know. Okay, let's not make the robot with the laser cannon angry. I am going to back away slowly. Maybe Jafar knows what to do. Don't tell me that chirping little contraption scared you off and you've given up already. Actually, that is exactly what happened. Well, go back there and use your ingenuity to find a way to get it from her. I don't think she's gonna give me that hourglass unless I gain her trust. Her home is here in Ancient Landing. I suggest you search it for something to use to convince her. Hmm. Well, we've got to find Eve's house. Let's head back to where Eve was over here. And this looks like Eve's house. It's gotta be, right? Surely there's something in here that will help us. Whoa, that's a pretty cool house. I like that light. Okay, what have we got here? We gotta remove some of this stuff. Any clues? Keep your eyes peeled, everyone. Hmm. Aha, uh -huh. we got a little note down here. Oh, okay. Memory. I guess that piece of paper was the clue. Jafar, we got a clue. I found a memory of Eve and somebody dressed up as a robot. They were in some sort of hidden place and there was a strange meal. It was so cute. Do not become distracted by sentimentality. That memory holds the key to getting the hourglass. Hmm, never underestimate the power of a good disguise, Deligracy. You must find that costume. Locate the place you saw in the memory. Once you find it, disguise yourself and return to the metal nuisance. Okay, that was massive thunder just now. That was really scary while talking to Jafar. Once you find it, disguise yourself and return to the metal nuisance. So it's near a waterfall and there's the robot costume, there's the weird fish and like a gingerbread cookie or something. Maybe if we find where there's a waterfall here, it's near that spot. Okay, we need to go closer to beach and waterfall. Are there waterfalls on the map? I see a waterfall over here, so maybe it's near Eve. Okay, I think it's right in here. So we need to get to the other side of this. Hey, our dark form's in there. How did you get in there? Can we go around this side? Is there a little sneaky passage back here? There is, thank goodness. A sneaky spot. Smash throws come in here. Hello, thank you for leading us here. Ooh, this is just beautiful. Oh, look at her with the little picnic blanket. Ooh, we got a chest here as well. Oh my gosh, there is fairy floss in here. Are you kidding me? Or well, cotton candy. We call it fairy floss in Australia. Popcorn. Oh wow, we have outfits to open. It's like the best day ever. So many free things. Okay, what did we get? Oh, we got the robot hat, nice. And I'm guessing with a bit of luck, this is gonna be the rest of the robot costume. Am I right? So we just gotta put these on. Oh my goodness, we look incredible, don't we? Okay, well maybe if we speak to Eve in our little robot costume, Eve will be happy. Hello, check out our costume. It's actually such a cute costume. <laughs> hmm, you're starting to remember me, aren't you? Ah. Yay! What did you just give me? It's a recipe. Wait a second, it's a recipe for the meal that I saw in the memory. You want me to prove that I'm really your old friend by cooking this? I guess that's what we gotta do. We gotta make that weird looking fish meal. I should see about opening up Goofy's stall here for some of these ingredients. Well, there was a Goofy store over here to open. It looks like some of the signs are missing. I did find Goofy's stall sign lying on the ground before, so I guess we need to find some more of the sign. And the recipe is the best fish forever. Okay, well, let's learn this recipe. Okay, now we've got the recipe. We just need to get the ingredients. So Goofy, I found some of your sign. Here you go. Is this enough to fix your store? Because I'm gonna need some ingredients. Oh! 
gosh, Delicacy, where'd you find this old sign? I found it here. All right, Goofy, let's combine these signs and open up your store. Oh, fiddlesticks, where, would you look at that? My stalls aren't fancy places, but this one's a downright mess. It just needs a little work, Goofy, it'll be fine. I think we'll need some copper and plastic scrap to fix it up. I think I saw some plastic scrap floating in the water outside of the ripples. And mining rocks around here have plenty of copper in them. We're gonna need to fish for some plastic scraps. Hopefully we get a nice big plastic scrap. Oh. Okay, we may have a plastic scrap, yay! We need one more piece of plastic scrap. So fingers crossed, yay, we got it. All right, so we've got all the pieces of plastic scrap we need. And now we also need to get a little bit more copper from mining rocks. Lots of copper around here with all of these orange rocks. All right, Goofy, I got all the materials you need. Where are you? All right, Goofy, here's your plastic scrap and your copper. And hopefully this will now build your stock because I really, really want that uh, new tool. This is all I need to fix the stall, but before I do, we need a proper ribbon cutting ceremony. And since you're the expert ribbon cutter here, you should be the one to do it. I will happily do that for you. Yay! It's here. Ah, oh, that is just beautiful, Goofy. Gosh, it looks great. Thanks, Deligracy. I'm glad I could help. So Goofy gave us some celery seed, yams, and grapes. Well, I guess now is as good time as ever to start planting things, am I right? May as well. We only need one celery, one robot fish, and one sea snail. Well, we can pop the celery here. We can pop a yam here. We'll just pop a few things down. And also we do need a celery. Let's plant some celery. And we also need a sea snail and a robot fish. Where does one find a robot fish? That is the question. Oh, we'll give these a water. Okay, that's all done. I sure hope we get a robot fish here today. What do you reckon, Mickey? We're we gonna get lucky. Are we gonna get lucky? Okay, that is not a robot fish. Are we gonna get a robot fish here today? Please, please. Oh, not a robot fish, but still a cool looking fish. Maybe it's hiding in this red patch. Is there a robot fish in here? You in there? Yes! Ah. Oh. So good. Okay, we got a robot fish, excellent. Now we just need oh, to get gosh. a sea snail nice and snail. celery. Would we fish for a snail or are we just gonna find a snail on the beach? Any snails around here? I don't see any. Is there a snail here in the water? Snail, are you in there? Please be a snail, please be a snail. Oh my Lord, we got an octopus. Well, the bad news is I have not found a snail, but the good news is all of our vegetables are ready for harvesting, which includes the celery we need. So if we can just find this sea snail, life will be good. I'm just gonna harvest all of these. Maybe the snails come in the blue ripples. <gasps> ah, yay, we got a snail! Oh my gosh, that took so long. Ah, so exciting though. It feels so good when you finally find what you're looking for. Okay, now we cook it up, cook up a storm. Our best fish forever. Okay, it is very sweet. Even though the fish is a little creepy looking. Okay, Eve, I've got you a fish. You can recreate this memory. There you go. Aw, Eve is so precious. Okay, Eve. I know you don't eat, but maybe if you examined this meal with your scanner, it will prove to you that I'm your old friend. Hmm, let's see. Oh, oh, boo, there we go. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is the moment. This is the moment we pick up the hourglass. Oh, wow. <gasps> hourglass unlocked. Use the hourglass to find artifacts lost to time. What does it look like when you pull it out? Oh, that is, that is pretty elite. They look so cool right now. I mean, apart from the robot suit. All right, Jafar, I've got it. At last, the royal hourglass, do you feel it, Deligracy? With, with that in your grasp, the fabric of time is at your command. I mean, you're saying I just got even cooler? Have your moment if you must, but remember we have work to do. Hold the hourglass towards the broken bridge and watch as time reverses. Here goes nothing. It didn't do anything. Should I try again? Alas, I should have known the hourglass would not be powerful enough to turn back time in its current state. You see, it's missing something. Three jewels of time have been pried loose from its handle. 
Long ago, when you decided the hourglass was too powerful, you removed the jewels and hid them. Luckily, I know where one of them is. Search down the hallway to the right of the broken bridge. There you will find what you seek. The way is blocked by swelling sands, just another annoyance caused by the rifts in space and time here. But they should be no match for your hourglass, even if it's in a weakened state. Oh, dark form, are you stuck? Well, don't you worry, because I've got this new snazzy tool right here. Huh. It's so satisfying moving these. Okay, excellent. So we can go down this passageway. Okay, We've got a hologram station statue right here. Another hologram station. What is this? Oh, this is a time bending table. What? That's pretty cool. Do you see the statue of time? Within it, you'll find the first jewel of time missing from your hourglass. Unfortunately, the statue is broken and to repair an ancient statue, you will, you will need something of a similar age. Find the missing pieces using the magic of your hourglass. Eternity Isle is filled with treasures that have been lost in time. But with your hourglass, you can sense when they are nearby and pull them to you. You are bound to find countless lost treasures and the more powerful your hourglass becomes, the more you will find. Start by searching right here to find what is missing from the statue. So we just wield this and we follow the sand. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, we got our first treasure or ancient statue fragments. Here we go. Yes. Okay, we got the ancient statue fragments. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hmm, there's no more treasure in this area, but we did just find some ancient plates. But I guess you just follow the sparkles and the color of it. Any treasure over here? Ooh, looks like we're getting close. Here we go. This is our last bit of treasure, and thankfully it was the plates. The magic of the hourglass is at your command, impressive deligracy, but you will need more than an ordinary crafting station to piece all of that together. The hourglass is connected to another ancient relic here, the time bending tables. Using them, you can take the lost treasures you've found, turn back time to break them into their most essential elements and recombine them. You are in luck. Before I was trapped, I discovered this old plan for how to build these statues. Well, that is very handy, Jafar. Thank you so much. Use the time bending table beside the statue to create its missing arms. Oh, right. Okay, let's combine this recipe. Here we go. We've got our statue arms fling from that uh, hourglass tool. Now we gotta put these arms back in the sockets. Don't worry, statue, I got you. Ooh, oh, wow. I've got to say, the statue's looking a lot happier. I wonder if this means we can return the broken bridge. The Jewel of Time is back in place. Now your hourglass can channel the magic of mist. Undoubtedly, you have noticed that on occasion, your hourglass produces a strange magical mist. It occurs in places where the walls of space and time are thin, like at the bridge. You must channel that mist to turn time forwards or backwards. Use the mist to fix the time anomalies across the island and at a time bending table. Use that mist to make your hourglass even more powerful. But don't waste time. You must find enough mist to repair the bridge. And once you repair the bridge, there are still two modules of time you must find before you will be able to fix the rift in time around my palace. You will find one hidden in the desert known as the glittering dunes. That's one of the other biomes and the other in the wild tangle, more commonly known as the jungle. Eternity Isle is vast deligracy. Perhaps you will meet villagers on the other side of the bridge who can be of assistance to you. Oh, I'm so excited to see the other biomes. Let's look at the map because across this bridge, we can see to the left is glittering dunes, the waste, the borderlands, the plains, the oasis. Oh, it looks so cool. Jafar's castle is up here, or at least half of it. And then the wild tangle is on the right with the lagoon, grove, grasslands, and the promenade. Not to mention, we still have to unlock the ruins and the overlook over here in the ancient landing. I am so excited to get through this and see the other biomes, discover the new villages. Are you guys excited to check out this expansion? If you haven't already, definitely subscribe to my channel because I've got some upcoming live streams of Disney Dreamlight Valley, and I'm definitely going to be playing a lot of it in my own time as well. Thanks again to Disney Dreamlight Valley for sponsoring today's video and thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world and I can't wait to speak to y'all soon.